Hello, I'm Ian, or Platy the Sunshine Platypus, and I am here in this video to recalibrate uh, with myself and what I am here to share in the videos that I put up to um, express vulnerability both in my life as a human being in hopes that you can relate and this understanding that we are not alone, we are all in this collective journey together. Um, with that vulnerability, um, sharing that it's still interesting to me to get used to sharing in video on social media um, and things such as inviting you to like and subscribe to my channel here if you find it helpful if you resonate and connect with my messages it's very helpful to be able to spread this message and what i have to share um, and my intention in sharing any of this and all of this is to bring more light and connection to our world for ourselves uh, with each other, with the earth, a connection with Mother Nature, and this planet that we live on that supports our life here. And um, yeah, if you've watched any of my past videos uh, or um, been aware of the Sunshine Connection name or any of the things that I put out there, I am deeply rooted and focused in the positive, in the sunshine, light, and energy. I love to shine light on other people, um, on the good things that are going on in our world. And this is a recalibration to put forward that I still strongly believe where attention goes, energy flows. And that is why I put my focus on what we do want to create rather than what we want to stop or not have happen in our world because that just puts more energy into that. With that being said, I think and I feel it's very important to be aware of what's going on and I intend moving forward to put a small awareness into that my videos um, and then move forward in what we can do to support a better more connected way that is in benefit and positive support and connection to all beings in our world um, so again to bring awareness to our current times I have been feeling quite challenged in our world as I imagine maybe you have or others you know there is a lot going on um, that is challenging. We have um, an eclipse coming up, which um, maybe you feel that that does have an effect or maybe you don't. Either way, um, I don't know what's going to happen. That's something that I want to be vulnerable at in all my videos is that I'm not here to tell you how things are. I just share what comes in for me and with hopes that it can be supportive to you as well, um, being the receiver and watching this video. I think that there has been a lot that has been swept under the rug, so to speak, uh, in our journey here as humanity. Uh, we have often felt ourselves and presented our society as a disconnected from nature, maybe an above nature, and that we're not a part of it. And I think that that's something that we are really being asked to notice in these times um, as we have major shifts um, that are feeling uncomfortable and misalignment in our own personal lives as well as out there in the world and with nature. And although these times can be seen as um, concerning, scary, not feeling good, all of feelings that I've felt, maybe you have as well. I think that on the flip side, it also is an enormous potential that we have, an opportunity 
as uh, human beings to reconnect with everything, with ourselves, with nature, and each other, as is the intention of my channel, The Sunshine Connection. And if we can put our focus there, the more we can, the more we will go in a direction and in a good way in realigning how everything fits together in this universe, in this cosmos. Because everything is interconnected. Everything that we do, say, our words, our thoughts, our actions, all have an effect on everything else out there, whether it be small or big effects. And when we come together, we are creating our collective reality of what this world holds and offers to us. And I invite all of us to feel into that. Um, I am very much a fan of Rudolf Steiner and his work. He often says um, a sentiment of don't take my word for it, feel into it for yourself. Um, and I invite you to do the same. I'm not here with any kind of gospel or anything. Uh, I'm sharing what I've found in my own journey and take what you will and leave what doesn't resonate with you. Um, I have also recently um, been starting reading a book about sorrow and grief from a good friend that passed along to me um, and the beginning there's a lot of really good content I don't have the name or the author off the top of my head but I will post it in the uh, description of this video if you're interested to find out more um, it speaks how um, often case in society we go into denial or forgetting of things that aren't in connection, not working out, uh, whether it be connecting in with uh, trauma for us or a collective trauma. Um, and it is what finds us in such disconnection with nature um, and all the changes that are happening that are not feeling good to us. And so again, this is where I realign with what I am here to share in these videos. That yes, my focus is on the good, positive, bright sunshine energy and all the beauty that we are here to shine and create. And uh, with that, I want to recognize you um, because you and all of us have something very special that we are here to share. We are all a piece of this puzzle. And so I do want to bring awareness to the things that are disconnected, that don't feel good, because those are signs, those are act as our internal compass to tell us what's not working, and to act as teachers, and those things that don't feel good to us, we can use those either as a feeling of challenge and I have been feeling a lot of that and we have the opportunity to transmute that into good things and say ask ourselves talk to ourselves the different parts of ourselves why is this not feeling good what is going on that I am having my emotions and my feelings tell me hey this doesn't feel good or right and we can use those to move forward in a direction that does feel good, that does feel connected, um, and bring us back together as humans, as a part of this bigger world that we live in and share together, and nature, and finding grounding in that and connecting with our Mother Earth. And Yes, back to my encouragement of uh, really tapping in with ourselves and I am here to support you and all of us in helping do that. See why we were, why we are here in this existence. What lights us up? What's our passion? What are we here to share with everybody and to bring light to this world? Um, and 
I'm sure you've felt in times when you've delved into your hobbies or maybe you already are doing uh, deep work in what you really love, your passion, your joy. Uh, or maybe it's kind of on the aside or maybe it's fallen aside. Um, I know I can speak from my own experience and vulnerability. I am here to share play and laughter and joy and excitement with the world um, and bring us into connection in that way. Uh, realize that this is for us to enjoy and to experience all of the magic and the wonders of our world and each other. And um, yeah, I've lost a little bit of touch with that in recent times. And so my aim is to bring that back, to continue sharing and to support you in sharing your light and your gifts and why you feel you're here, uh, as well as to receive um, being seen from you for what I share if you resonate. And I think that's an important part is that we all see each other for what we have to offer and the positive excitement and, and good energy of that. Um, I am here at one of my favorite places uh, recording this video, the beach. Um, I feel like one really special thing about the beach is pretty much overall people that I find at the beach are here to connect in. There's not really any other reason to come here other than to connect in with nature, to be in joy and uh, directly experience life. Um, not to say that, you know, people might not come here to just walk their dogs, but that's for connection with their dogs or to even have a difficult experience to come cry on the beach. Um, even all of those things are about connection. It's very intentional to come here. It's not like you just fall into the beach from the sidewalk uh, or, you know, your car as you're driving through the city. You have to specifically go there. And um, so, yeah, I invite you to consider that in any of your experience connecting in. Uh, nature is an amazing place to connect in. It doesn't need to be the beach. It can be anywhere, but that intentionality of coming to nature specifically to connect with yourself, with the earth, ground in, um, and to feel that joy, that sense of life and aliveness. Um, I don't know if you saw while I'm doing this video, there's a family in the background, uh, super sweet, just playing in the sand, a really little uh, child uh, learning to walk and holding uh, his parents' hands and um, just the beauty that I see within that and the life. And that's what I am here to support in us all coming back to, coming back to connection again with each other, ourselves, and the world. And I will finish this video there. Um, both with compassion, empathy, and understanding that you may be going through difficult times. I know I have been. I think it's important to know that we are not alone. I am there for you. Please share your stories. I find that when I share my story of vulnerability that I hear a resonation from others. And although I don't wish challenges upon others, it does feel good to know that I am not alone in these experiences. And so as we share, we come back together as human beings. And that's part of what we've always used for survival. It used to be more a physical survival of having mountain lions attacking us now, not so much. Um, we are still social creatures and we support each other. And in the, these times when we're more maybe in our head, which is another thing to do what you can to get out of our heads so much, spinning in the circles, I'll speak from my own experience, uh, trying meditation and again, talking with others and knowing that we are having similar experiences because although we are all on our own individual life journey, we are also on this collective journey together. And so a lot of the same threads and 
experiences and things are happening in our collective and we are feeling the same things. And so as we come together, we can support each other in healing, in letting go of old life uh, patterns within this lifetime. We can be healing past generations, things that have come from our parents or our grandparents that have not been helpful, that have been disconnecting and potentially even very traumatic. And when we share and support each other through those, we help to heal ourselves, we help to heal the collective and humanity and move forward in a good way, help heal our earth. And it allows us to clear all of this dense, heavy energy and emotions and things we've bottled up or swept under the rug throughout humanity or our individual lives. And as we clear that space, it allows this opening to fill the space with what we do want in our lives and in this world. Uh, for me, and maybe you can relate, um, and I'm curious to know what that is for you. And maybe I'll be checking in in future videos. Um, of what you want, what you see for this world, and how you can help support that, and how we can support and create that. And for me, that is connection, love, joy, laughter, family, community. Um, and I imagine that you probably want something similar because that is an essence this human experience that we all we all want to feel loved we all want to feel a sense of belonging we all want to feel a sense of home and again I take liberty in sharing this we all um, pardon me if you don't relate but in my experience I feel that this is something that is part of human existence and to feel welcome and uh, valued and worthy and I want you to know that I see you even though I cannot directly see you since I'm the one on this video here um, but to say nonetheless that I value you as a human. I know that you have a lot of light to offer, even though I might not know what that is right now. I am excited to learn of that as you share it with our world. And I want you to know that you are loved, you are welcome, you are home. So thank you for being here with us and sharing your light. Lots of love and thank you for watching. Thank you.